533 now. Uh, moving on, the Public Lands Council represents more than 22,000 cattle and sheep producers who hold public land grazing permits all across the nation. Now, to commemorate the organization's 50th anniversary, the group has enlisted a Montana artist to capture the spirit and heritage of the West. MTN's Lane Nordland tells us all about it. Well, having grown up on a ranch, I can appreciate the landscape as well as uh, the cowboys and, and ranchers that work at That's kind of my inspiration. The Public Lands Council is celebrating 50 years of being a voice for public lands ranchers in Washington, D.C. They commissioned Stephen Oystead to create a piece of artwork to commemorate their 50th anniversary. Oystead said he was up to the task to pay tribute to the nation's ranchers. I really admire what, what they do as far as taking care of the land. I understand that ranchers take better care of land than most people. For the PLC, it was important to pick an artist with ties to the West. A custom commemorative painting for us, which featured cattle and sheep, um, both of which species graze on public land. So we wanted to really feature the, the heritage and culture of Western ranching. And who better partnership to do that than Steve Oystead out of uh, Fort Shaw. Inspiration for the oil pastel painting came from across the Big Sky State. Well, I look for a beautiful background. Uh, the ranch that is in the background is down by Red Lodge. And it's a, actually, the painting is a compilation of about four or five different things. The dog came from one picture, the horse and rider came from another, the background, the mountains, everything. For Great Falls native and PLC employee Allie Nelson, the Montana connection in producing the artwork was a way to support other Montana businesses as well. We also partnered with Advanced Litho Printing, Terry Cady, um, to do all of our printing. We wanted it to be in, in Great Falls, Montana, so Steve Oystead could come into the print shop and check out the proof and make sure that the colors and, and the, the specs are exactly what he loves. And so. Um, that, that's one thing that we are so excited for is to celebrate this 50th anniversary celebration. Um, this is truly a, a priceless piece and we are so excited to give these to our registrants as a thank you for, for celebrating our public lands ranching heritage. The Public Lands Council's 50th annual meeting will be held September 26th through the 29th in Park City, Utah and artist Stephen Oystead is looking forward to the event. It's something I'm really looking forward to and looking forward to meeting a lot of the members. Um, which should be really exciting for me. Could be some good contacts, uh, so forth, and I think it'll be great. Reporting near Fort Shaw, Montana, Lane Nordlund, MTN News. For more information on the commemorative artwork and the Public Lands Council, you can visit the website publiclandscouncil.org. Beautiful. Yeah. That's very cool. Very cool. 530.